What's going on, everybody? This is your WOF Outlook and Discussion for Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. And in this video, again, guys, yet again, we will have to be on the lookout for severe weather as a slight risk of severe weather is forecast for Tuesday across the Gulf Coast region here, which does include the New Orleans area, southern Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida, and the Florida parts of the Florida Panhandle. I know this has been sounding very redundant these past few days, but I don't know what the magnet is or what it's what it's doing in the lower Mississippi Valley, but this has been the hot spot for storms this winter. But as it states here, it says severe thunderstorms are possible perhaps near the mid to upper Texas coastal areas early Tuesday afternoon, but more likely across southeastern Louisiana and Mississippi through southern Alabama and the western Florida panhandle Tuesday night. These may become capable of producing tornadoes and locally damaging wind gusts. So if you stay, it's particularly in this yellow highlighted area, slight risk. If you live in this area and you know that your area is prone to seeing a tornado touchdown or two, you need to be very weary to the sky come Tuesday evening in the overnight hours as this severe weather event unfolds. And as we take a look here at the models here, here's the European valley for early Tuesday morning. You can see the system here. This system is riding very low here in, um, over Texas. And as we move it along through the afternoon hours, you can see the system quickly deepens as it moves east across central Texas. And the low level winds are starting to increase across coastal Texas and West Louisiana. As we move further along into the, into the day, you can see here this storm really starts to intensify as it um, races out of East Texas across Louisiana. And what I wanted to also show you guys here, this will be valid for Tuesday evening, roughly around 6 p.m. You can see this disturbance here is in um, northwest, western Louisiana. And as you can see, the strong flow, the strong belt of winds coming in up out of the Gulf from this system. If we were to look at, I'm going to take a click um, here in the New Orleans area to request the soundings here. And as we take a look here, you can see right up in the, in the top portion of the screen where I'm circling the course at for the mouse. You can see this hodograph here. This is a large curved hodograph here. And when you see them curved like this, this is showing that an environment can be very conducive for severe tornadic thunderstorms if the environment comes together completely. One inhibiting factor that could be limiting the potential for this severe weather event is the fact of the low level moisture coming out of the Gulf, how much of that advances inland across the, um, the Gulf Coast before, before this system actually moves through. And that's going to determine the threat of the severe weather. If the low level moisture return is kind of limited, then we are probably going to stay within a slight risk of severe weather here. But if the moisture return does become greater and move inland further throughout the day on Tuesday, then I'm most guaranteed that that slight risk of severe weather will be upgraded to an enhanced risk probably tomorrow or in the morning on Tuesday. And as we take a look at the mesoscale model to see the timing of these um, storms, you can see here across East Texas, the Houston area, right at noon time, is going to be rocking here across Houston and the Texas um, coastal area. And as we can, um, advance further into time, as you can see, we're going to have, possibly going to have some discrete cells forming ahead of the main line that's going to be across West Central Louisiana. This would be about 6 p.m. Tuesday to um, the line would be across west central Louisiana, and we may have embedded supercells, strong thunderstorms developing out ahead of the line. And that's where your greatest chance of seeing a tornado or two will occur is right before the main line. And as we continue to progress throughout Tuesday night 
and into the overnight hours, as you can see, around roughly around midnight or so, the line should start to be coming through the New Orleans area, southeast Louisiana, and southern Mississippi as we continue to move on throughout the latter um, overnight hours of Tuesday on into Wednesday. And then as you can see, we get all of this mess up out of here yet again, and it will turn quite chilly behind this system. So I just wanted to come bring you all a quick update on this severe weather event that can potentially unfold here across South Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and parts of the western Florida panhandle. As of right now, we're under a slight risk of severe weather, and that is because of the limited amount of moisture return that's possibly coming in from the Gulf out ahead of this system. But if that moisture return is greater than what is currently forecast, then this slight risk could more than likely be upgraded to an enhanced risk in future updates. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys, and I will be back later to give an update on this system and the progression to see how all of this is continuing to unfold. And I will talk to you.